Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We are about halfway through October at the moment and there's going to be at least another two episodes of this, well, kind of including this one, um, before Backer Bills 3 is released. As soon as I do have a uh, release date for it then I'll of course let you guys know. But for the moment we're going to jump in and we're going to do another random map and uh, see what mysteries the random number generator is going to give us this time. Now, the last couple of uh, of episodes, I've been a little bit gung-ho uh, with just charging our people in, splitting them up, um, spreading our resources out a little bit thinly, because it's not a massive challenge at the moment um, getting, uh, getting through the mission, um, but getting through without any casualties is going to be slightly more problematic. Now, what I was thinking of doing uh, this time is reordering people slightly. Um, as useful as the jump jet is with the machine gun, uh, it's not how I'd actually like build a character. I would give the person with the jump jet the sniper rifle so I could put them up top and they could start like ding, 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 taking pot shots all around while standing effectively in the open. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch people's gear around ever so slightly. Um, it's going to be relatively easy for these guys to do. So the sniper rifle and the cartridge is going to go across to the heavy, which means at the moment we have absolutely no gear there. The machine gun and the missile launcher are going to come across And yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a bit better, I'd say. Uh, do we want to keep the pistol? Yeah, we we'll want to keep the pistol as well, so we've got something that can do return fire. I uh, will take the med kit out for the moment, though. And I think that's uh, that's going to be a good setup for this time. So we've we've lost quite a large amount of action points in doing this, um, but I think we're going to be in a better position overall. Uh, so, we're not quite in a position to actually do any any shooting because nothing's visible. But we can at least get into cover somewhere. I think if we head across here for the moment. And, yeah, let's, let's not spread out too much. I want to check this area over to the side to see if we've got any... Uh, boxes just inside. So if we send the engineer and our main. Ooh, okay, we've got a dude and a box. Yeah, and our main uh, shooter. Uh, where are these guys going to go? I suppose we could come to here and then we're in a position to step out and take a shot. That'll work. So you guys are as okay as you can be. Uh, I think we'll drop a... Do we want to drop a turret? Yeah, let's drop a turret now. Turret's got a bit of cover as well. That'll help. And then what are we going to do with you guys that is not going to be completely pants? I think we'll, we'll bring you up here. Now he may run round and through or round and take a pot shot across, um, but I think that's probably just going to have to be something that we take on the chin if it happens. No, he's moving into cover. And shooting at the engineer. Good return fire there. Not good return fire there. Now, from his angle... Uh, we might actually be able to get some decent shots on him. But with both of them there, it's going to be a little bit problematic. Where are you going? Okay. The turret has successfully exposed itself. Good job, turret. This guy is a potential problem. I mean, we could step to here, get a shot on his pincer to eliminate him, and well, it leaves us dangerously exposed. We could also run in and just zap him. In fact, let's 
speaking of bazapping. Ah, uh, yeah, we can get to there and we can bazap him. Which means you can focus on this guy and how we get rid of him. If we get some decent shots on his back, that could work. So let's let's do something crazy. We'll run into here. And we're going to shoot just on your gun arm. Right through the carapace. And then we may run away. I don't know yet. We're going to step in first though. Electric melee shock. Got the stun, got the bleed. Disabled this pincer arm. This could not have gone better. Um, the only potential trouble is this thing may try and shoot through. So let's use exertion to carry on moving forwards. Where was that other box? There it is. So we'll consider that chap pretty much eliminated. Uh, we've got another box just in here. That's going to be worth us running in and having a look. Hmm. So knowing that there's two guys there, we've got a ton of armor, so I don't care too much about it. What have we got? We've got a grenade, I'll take that, except we don't quite have enough movement to do anything with it. So two guys over here, if we step into this cover, We'll be in a pretty good place to do some shooting. And yeah, we'll, we'll keep the pistol out, I think. Not really the right angle for anything good. In fact, let's, let's get closer. To the truck. Yeah, we can get a decent shot on him. There we go. That's what I thought would happen with the turret. Okay, so uh, we're still obviously looting as much as we can. We could drive this guy over, run him down. Uh, let's start over here because we know we're going to grab everything out. So, spare pistol, spare assault rifle, spare machine gun, spare PDW, all of that ammunition of course. And we're not in a position to actually take a shot. I don't think... Oh, no, this is... It looks like we should be able to get an angle by leaning around, but he's not going to do the leaning around bit, which is a bit of a shame. Well, let's... Step forward to here for the moment. And I think we're going to get you in and drive through this. I do love running mobs down. Uh, we'll actually do that right now. So, ram in the selected direction. Goes quite far when it gets going. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look in the box. An actual spare assault rifle and a grenade and a missile. I'm so happy already. And a handgun and a sniper mag and a miss. My word, how much stuff is there in here? Okay, all that is really, really cool. Uh, you have a grenade and a pincer, so we can step to here. And I think if we get you right up close, next turn we'll be able to re gear some of that maybe past the uh, 
assault rifle across. I mean, you can actually see him. Well, if you can see him, may as well take pot shots from here. Now everyone can see him. Good job. Uh, yeah, stand a bit further across. It makes a little difference. I think we're done for this turn. Okay. Hopping down. Not a surprise. No. He actually did a bit of damage to the vehicle. And we're flanked over here. Although I think it took too many action points for him. So we'll get some close range sniping action going, I reckon. Yeah, that that's super hopeful. I really think the guys should not have bothered there. Okay, now I said I was going to uh, reorder. St ah, you're not quite close enough. Oh no, because I moved them one space further away. So let's let's put you somewhere where we actually want you. Yeah, if you're if you're going to go over here, maybe we should just get rid of this chap before doing anything else. We're only going to get one shot. Two if we come at it from this angle. And that uh, grenade arm is the big threat, so that's what we're targeting. Alright, that was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, in that case, let's... Step forwards over here. We are sort of in the open, but we can do like a flyby. Oh, sort of in the open. We're massively in the open because that is open. Huh. Alright, well, we'll get into cover. Let's do the. Sh oh, that's not close enough. Alright. One space back. We're not going to take a shot this turn anyway. So, assault rifle across. Assault rifle. We'll keep that. Uh, PDW can go across. May as well have the handgun as well. Machine gun and the sniper clip and the missile to give to... Wait. It actually put the... Ah! The, the PDW was supposed to go across. It must have swapped them over while I wasn't paying attention. So... You've actually got the spare ammo, and we can't give it back. Not to worry, we will do it next turn. As they say, measure twice, cut once. And speaking of measure twice, cut once, wanna, can we ram that? No, we could, we'll just shoot him. Shooting seems a far more sensible option. I think we'll move before we take the shot, though. Oh, he's got a grenade arm. Yeah, let's take the grenade arm out. Or the torso out. Almost a shame I don't have the pistol on this chat. Yeah, we can't get to any of that direction. We could get out and do a weird shoot through. I think if, we, if we're going to get out of here properly, we're going to have to ram our way out. Wait, where's it? Wasn't quite what I wanted it to do. Never mind, never mind. It's going to be fine. Okay, um, you're fine where you are. Get you out for the moment. You do still have the pistol because you've got gunslinger. So we could step across and finish this guy off. And I think that's going to be sensible so we don't get grenaded. So gunslinger. 
Where is nice and weak? Probably that leg area. It'll work. And I think that's probably it for this turn. Guys, right up close. Yeah, slightly exposed, but one bit of damage isn't a problem. Okay, so we've got ammo issues that we will need to solve at some point. That is a terrible angle to try and get a shot. What's he got? He's got a pincer and a claw. Well, we can we can certainly finish him off at point blank range, I'd say. That just ended up too close, didn't it? God damn it. It is, of course, pre-alpha, but it's frustrating when uh, when things like that happen. Uh, I think if we put it right on his head, uh, we'll probably be able to finish him off entirely. And that worked well enough. So there's still two guys left. We've got uh, this chap around here. We've got the chap over the far side. Now the guy over the far side, I don't think we're going to be able to get in a position to really do much. We can't jump from where we are either. So let's move forwards and see what's in here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of ammo. You know what? We'll take it. Because I can't resist hoarding. I mean, if this is an actual mission, we might be able to sell these afterwards for um, for extra cash, extra resources, um, however you want to, to phrase it. Right, you're going to get up close and we're going to transfer that ammo back. So assault rifle goes across. That is much better. And yeah, step in there, hide in the barrels. Seems like as good a place as any. Uh, for this chat, we can get pretty damn close. Oh, interesting. So transferring the missile launcher or the machine gun, probably the missile launcher, that's what's given the jumping ability. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, let's get you back here. So learning something new, even this far into the game, uh, or this far into the backer build, Still finding out new things about it. Let's drive on round. Ah, good return fire there. Less good return fire. Now, where's this chap going to go? He's just going to come round? Yeah. Okay, that actually hurt a bit, but he's probably going to die from the combined the combined return fire. Okay, so medical attention. There you go. Get the assault all healed up. Nicely done. And what are we going to do with you? I think... Yeah, we're not going to really be able to snipe. 
but we probably could run to a position where we can then do it next turn. Yeah, in the heavy armor we can't climb. So that is slightly limited, but this this is fine. Now we've got a missile that we need to pass across. So let's drive this closer. Step in. The missile goes across and the machine gun also goes across. And then I think let's drive down this way. Chest over there, chest there. Yeah, we've got chests galore over this side, so I think that's really where we want people to be moving. Don't want to be just throwing them out into the open though. That'd be a bad idea. So let's let's call that. There's only this chap left. And he's about to get sniped at pretty close range. Ooh, no. Ah, uh, well, mate, you've just walked right into ramming position. It's it's not my fault. You literally asked for this. Hmm, quite solid uh, stacks of, well, it's probably steel. Yeah, that would be quite solid, wouldn't it? Okay, what are we going to do over here? Do we want to step close? I think we want, we want to make this as easy as possible. Now, I would expect sniper rifles to have some kind of penalty once you get close enough. Uh, let's, yeah, take off the gun arm. Took it off. Nice and clean. And unless there's mobs hiding around the edge, that's going to be it until uh, our wonderful, wonderful queen appears. Uh, let's pull forwards over here. Because I'd rather have people near the crates than not. Okay, that's actually it for enemies, unless anything else spawns in. So, sniper, you can make it over here. Let's see if there's any more missiles. Or another missile launcher. More grenades. I'll definitely take more grenades. Uh, right, we're not going to have the pistol. We'll take... Wait, can we... Uh, we don't have enough oomph in order to do that. Well, we'll drop all the pistol ones. Because we're definitely not going to need them. Uh, we'll get both of those and the sniper, I think. We'll drop the make kit as well. We're not going to need that. Uh, you can check out this one. And then we've got a third to get in a bit. Uh, I think we'll just get the grenade. Yeah, next turn we'll just get the grenade. Uh, you can come and join the party. We could repair this. It'll take a willpower to do, but... Nah, it's probably not worth it. Just get on in for the moment. There she is! There's the beauty! Isn't she gorgeous? Not exactly, I know. Okay, right. I probably should have gotten out of uh, out of the vehicle last turn, but we'll uh, we'll make this work. We will make it work like this. So, how perfectly do we want it? Right there, right on the mandibles.
wasn't quite on target for where we wanted. Get into the vehicle. And then we're going to back the vehicle up just a little bit. And then we're going to turn it around once. And then we can take a pot shot, actually. We do have a shred chance. So what are we going to go for? Let's go for the, the thorax. That seems reasonable. Right, right up Main Street. Three damage and a little bit of armor gone. I'll take that. So let's uh, re-gear as we were saying. Grenade, grenade. Sniper. And from here we can't actually see, which is surprising and annoying at the same time. Let's run back to here. Over here we're going to take that grenade. And then I think we're going to move on to this one so we can see what's in there. Another assault rifle, two more grenades, and a turret. Can I pick these up? I can. Look at that. Well, in which case, we'll grab the extra PDW clip as well. You need to come across to here so that we can pass that across next turn. And I think that's it for everyone for this turn. So, Angry Queen stamping in place. decided not to move. I mean, was that like a ram that went badly? I wouldn't be massively surprised, but I would be a little bit surprised. Okay, well, we did this previously. Let's uh, let's try and do it again. It's not quite giving me what I want. Is that just because the vehicle is too close? I think it's because the vehicle's too close. We've got time to step around the side, though. Bombs away. Three damage, one armor. I will take that. Uh, next turn, we're going to need to reload that uh, that beast. Uh, right, okay, so. Inventory, you can have the turret. Uh, you can also have the PDW. And you can have a grenade, because we've got spare grenades. And then, where am I going to run? You're actually slightly in the way. So I think we both need to run around here. Let's get into the open. And we'll put the turret down. Ablative turret. That's what it is. And then we'll take one step back. Uh, you're in a great place for doing anything with a tiny bit of damage. Ooh, actually, yeah, go for this. Acceptable. Uh, you may as well get a bit closer, actually. And now, yeah, you're just in the right place to get close enough. We can step out. We can fling some uh, some grenades next turn. Here she comes. Hopefully in range of all the grenades we want to throw. It's close enough. Oh, cool. Pins are disabled and she is bleeding. Uh, we need another grenade up front. Good. And you're going to step over here. Uh, let's get you out. Then grenade. That looks like it is going quite well. And then we could actually get you inside here. 
which would be great for ramming, shooting, any of the other ings. Okay, reload. Uh, let's go for a danger close. Nice, solid hit there. Now, we don't have any grenades or anything else, but the machine guns should be plenty for us to do regular damage. I think if we... If we back up with a you know, sanity distance... This is going to do quite a bit of damage. It's not going to stun it. But when it attacks, it's not going to kill us. 18 damage. 18 ramming damage. As I said, quite solid. Oh, you are in a terrible place, mate. That's alright. We'll shoot through you. Uh, go for the head. Go for the thorax. Go for the... I really want the other pincer. Now uh, let's uh, let's go for the thorax. Hmm. Yeah. Straight for the thorax. Try and get a bit more in the way of bleeding going. So it's going to step forwards a little bit, or is it going to go for the turret? No, it's going for the vehicle. It's just doing it. 11 damage and 3 armor. And we get return fire. For what it's worth. It's not really worth much. But the thought's there. Oh, look at you. You just totally, totally shot your, your queen. I'm sure that's a crime somewhere. You know, shooting, shooting royalty of any form is generally frowned upon. All right, slight shred chance. Uh, let's try not to shoot our own vehicle, so we'll just go for the head. Minus three armor, nine damage. I like that. I very much approve of that. Uh, this can happen, but it's a bit close. If we back off... Then we need to worry less. I think we're going to step you forwards before you throw this. There we go, that looks right. Now, with the amount of health it's got left, I probably could have rammed it just to finish it off, but I like doing things in fun ways. Like with cannons. Take out that thorax. No, it's slightly more than the thorax, but I'm I'm okay with that. Of course, that is one ugly beastie. Still shooting her, even though she's dead. Let the let the dead rest. Uh, you need to get back behind cover, and we'll reload you next turn. Yeah, as far as getting eyes on that one for sniping. It's not really going to be much of a good place. Uh, go to here. And go on Overwatch just in case. Uh, you can exit the vehicle. And yeah, we'll, we'll get ready to do the last bit on foot, I think. Or die! Oh, nearly got him. So there's two left. There's the one on the left and the one on the right. Nice try, turret.
Yeah, we can supposedly see from here. So let's have a look at the shot. No, it's not a terrible shot. It's not a brilliant shot though. Uh, but with exertion, we can actually get into a much better place. Let's just do it from here. Center mass. Oh, we ran out of ammo. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's back you up a tiny bit. No, well done. You can see another box. Okay, you need to reload. That's actually a reasonable shot. Probably 50% chance to hit. Okay, one down. With the most epic waza that I've heard from a crab man in quite a while. Uh, you can get into the vehicle. And maybe we can finish him off with the vehicle. Let's, uh, let's not aim specifically. No. Well, we've disabled his head. We'll do the second one actually aiming. So what's the chance of hitting? It's reasonable. It's just he's got a massive shield. Jeez, I say reasonable. That, that was a bit pants. Uh, you've got to reload. Right. Mm, this is sort of a terrible shot. You've got plenty of eyesight, though. Yeah, this this works better. Try this. Three. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Bullets flinging around all over the place. Um. Yeah, you may as well just run up the edge. Ooh, secret guy from behind. I was very much not expecting that. I'm certain that shooting through that tiny gap is a terrible idea. All right, reload. And yeah, we could probably get reasonable shots on this guy, but I'd like to get closer so we can try and guarantee taking out that weapon of his. Uh, let's use exertion to get proper action points. Yeah, that, that gun protects his arm quite a lot, doesn't it? Now, go for it. I really don't want a casualty just for casualty's sake. So what I might do is I might kill him with a... With a big gun. Yeah, he's going to get a little bit of return fire. Wow. That did not actually kill him. He's actually going to bleed out next turn, so we really don't need to worry about him. Exit the vehicle. Uh, you can see him. We don't care about that one. What we care about is this guy down here who's actually going to cause us some trouble. So let's try this again. Zero. Well, we're giving him more targets to shoot at, if nothing else. Yeah. Wait, is that actually... There's a shot. Epic sniping shot coming up. Uh, 
Spot on. And that leaves just this poor chap down the end. Who we may be able to see from here. But we'll give it a go. One bullet pinged through. We did shoot our own APC slightly, but it seemed to work. And that, as they say, is that a bit more of an organized team effort that time. Kept people together a little bit closer, took it a bit slower, and it does make a big difference to your survivability. Uh, also, we learned uh, that the jump pack actually comes with the missile launcher itself, um, or potentially the machine gun, but I think it's the missile launcher. So that was an interesting development. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, as always, it's been a lot of fun for me. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. I'm going to be doing one episode per week, uh, at least that's the plan, until the game itself fully releases. And then we'll probably run through a proper campaign. Um, so I will see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.